the course really had a, has had uh, a reputation for being extraordinarily difficult and time consuming for students. Mm. Uh, it was something of a badge of honor to have gotten through the GIS course for years. Students slept in the labs. Wow. Yeah. So I used the approach I've always used and I inherited it from a predecessor here named Bob Churchill was to t teach originally through a worked example and then slowly kind of fade out. So in the worked example, you give students a problem goal, you give them the means to solve it, and then you show them the kind of step-by-step -step how they should solve the problem. And it would happen in a kind of a live demonstration where I'd have 15 students in a room and kind of work through over two hours and 45 minutes, here's how you solve this problem. Mm -hmm. And I would be talking while I was at the board kind of clicking, showing them how that they would work through the kind of the graphical user interface to solve the problem. And what I would notice is that there would be some students who would like me to go a little bit faster, but had to wait and kind of daydream because they were just kind of waiting. Mm -hmm. And then there were some students that desperately wanted me to slow down. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then you get into that kind of slowest car on the freeway, how fast you can really go type of thing. So I would kind of slow down, which would lose part of the group. And then there would be some folks that probably would want me to slow down, but would never ask because they don't want to call attention to themselves as being the kind of the slow car on the freeway. At this point, Jeff realized that even his small class might not be as personalized as it could be with the support of a little more technology. So what I realized is that if I just started packaging that instruction, the worked example, I could deliver the same content, but allow students to kind of first, if I you know, made videos, posted it on something like YouTube, I was putting out the same content, but students could now kind of watch it at their own pace and in kind of privacy of, of being able to go as slow as they need to without the kind of social um, hang-ups of, of being considered different. Mm. Um, so that was really the kind of the first step of, of you know, I, I kind of did all of this and then I told an older colleague in languages what I was doing and he said, well, that's called flipping the classroom. Mm. I thought, okay, well, I didn't, I mean, but that's not really why. So I did, I did it without knowing that I was flipping the classroom, but then that's how it and this is an important element pedagogically because I read the student course reviews, the evaluations, and what struck me, and there were about 50-something students in the class the first time he flipped it, and what was striking about it was students' comments um, to Susan's point about uh, difficult subject matter. Students themselves said, if you sit in this class and you miss something, you have it in your notes, you might have it, you have to go and see the faculty member and figure out what happened during office hours and so forth. You have to remember those questions and ask them. When you have the lectures ahead of time, and so you can go back over and over again and listen until you understand this. And so the comments were something to the effect, finally, a faculty member who understands how we learn. The ability for students to sort of get through difficult material by looking at it over and over again and trying to figure it out on their own time. And they found that to be extremely valuable, thereby able to use the time in class or with a faculty member to do specific work on a project. This is a pedagogical breakthrough in many ways because it's counterintuitive to what we like to think about as a Middlebury education, one-on-one -on -one with the faculty member all the time. But in this case, providing that information up front gives a student the opportunity to work at their pace and to sort of work through some of the difficulties that they personally had in the course material.